one to forgive them another. Have them back at the close. We are so thankful for Dr. Young and his assistant uh, being here today. Like I told her, she's welcome in this place, uh, in this sanctuary to come and be with us. This is an inaugural uh, event today that we are looking to go fishing with nets. And the Lord has told me to throw the nets on the other side of the boat. And so I'm following instructions. And believe me, when the Lord gives you something to do, he's going to equip you with what you need to get the job done. Make no doubt about it. He's going to equip you with all that you need. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. And so, just for a little while today, I know my congregation has not all got here, but uh, I want to go ahead and let's uh, speak a word real quick. If that's uh, in order, then we'll be uh, on time uh, next week. But for the sake of what we are doing today, and getting a benchmark for uh, this momentous occasion. I'm going to go ahead and bring the word. Is that all right? Yes. Uh, yes. Number one, uh, there's a word. I look up fucking Wagner, and uh, the word confidence. Confidence means Funk and Wagner said it means to trust in or reliance on something or someone. Amen? Uh, it means belief in a person or thing. Amen? Uh, and then finally, it says number two that Funk and Wagner says that confidence is assurance. Yes, yes. Amen? Yes. I.e., the God Lord gave me blessed assurance. Yes. Amen? He said, I need you to name that church that you're going to birth along with me blessed assurance. Blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Yes. Oh, what a foretaste of what? Glory divine. You and me and all of us in here are heir of salvation. We're purchased by God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Yeah. I say that this is my story. Yeah. This is my song. Amen. I'm praising my Savior Thank all the day long. Yeah. I'm telling you that my soul is happy that the Lord chose me before the foundation of the earth to be one of his. I am saved by the blood of Jesus. Just for a little while today, um, I want to talk about Christ is the answer. Yes, he is. We are looking for love in all the wrong places. Amen. When Christ is the answer. Amen? Amen. For our scripture text, we are going to come from 1 Peter, the third chapter, 13 through 22. Say amen when you have it. The third chapter, 13th verse through the 22nd verse. Amen? Amen. Would you stand for the reading of God's word? We believe in standing for the uh, reading of God's word because we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and God made the one who made the Pledges of Allegiance. So standing for God's word is only the right thing to do. Amen? So it reads as thus. Uh, and he, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. 
but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Okay. Having a good conscience that there is, they may speak evil of you or as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well-doing than for evildoing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, was preparing where few, that it is eight souls were saved by the water. The light figure wherefore went unto even baptism that also save us, not putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Finally, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject to him. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of angels. There are seraphims and there are cherubims in this room right now. Yes. And they are around the throne of God and they are saying what? Holy, holy, holy. I'm telling you, ours is a questioning world. Most of us ask and are asked questions each day. Children love to ask questions. We greet people with questions. We answer questions with the question. The one answer I find myself giving more than any other is simply the name of Jesus Christ. The question asked of me as a minister, usually I have the ultimate answer is Jesus. Christ is the answer. He said that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that what? Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no other way to get from earth to heaven but through Jesus Christ. Like T.D. Jakes said, favor ain't fair, it just is. The Savior, Jesus Christ, is the answer. That's just a fact. Amen? I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to fuss about it. Because one of these days, the sky is going to pop open. And all eyes are going to see him. And if you have not accepted him as your personal savior, then shame on you. I'm like Noah, crying in the wilderness. Noah preached the same sermon for 120 years. It's going to rain. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, at this time, Jesus is on his way back. Yes. Amen? Amen? I'm trying to tell you, and I don't have no choice but to say the word. He put me here to speak the word that Jesus is on his way Amen. back. Amen. Christ is the answer to the storms of life. Yes. Are you going through a storm? If not, you're coming out of a storm. Yes. But Christ is the answer to the storms of life. How do you know that, Reverend? It says in Mark 4, in the midst of the storm, the disciples asked the sleeping Jesus in the back of the boat, do you care not that we are perishing? Jesus rose and calmed the storm. Yes, Jesus is the answer to your storm in life. But you can't be on the surface. You got to get, like James Brown said, you got to get down, get down deep. You got to get down and find that Jesus is the answer. Amen. Amen. All of us have times when the storm of life beat upon us. In such situations, some think money is the answer. It's not. When I enter hospital rooms, people are not interested in my education or how much my bank account is. They want to know Jesus Christ. They want to know about the one that heals. They want to know that the one that has saving power. 
they don't care nothing about nothing else. They just want to know about Jesus. Yeah. Am I right about it? Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus is the answer to the storms of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Christ is the answer to the answer to the terror of death. Yeah, yeah. The account of Lazarus in John 11, chapter 21 through 27 shows that he pursued Martha's faith by restoring Lazarus. It's a strange thing about him restoring Lazarus because he took four days to get to Martha, and by that time, Lazarus was dead. The master waited until Lazarus was dead. He said, well, why did he wait until Lazarus was dead? He waited so that God might get the glory. I say that if the Lord's prayer said that power is in the glory. Jesus exemplified that when he said, now listen, I waited for Lazarus to die so that I could come and stand in front of that tomb and tell Lazarus to come forth. And he said, Lazarus came forth, and Lazarus came forth. Jesus is the answer to the terror of death. Amen. We shall die, like in Hebrews 9, 27, 7 says that man was born once to die. But Jesus says it's the Christian, I go to do what? Prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and do what? Receive you unto myself. Yeah. That where I am, there he may be also. Yeah. I'm talking about confidence in a Savior. Yeah. No, you never saw him. No, you weren't back there when he walked the water. But he's telling you right now, you need to have confidence in me that I go and I'm going to prepare a place for you. And I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there you may be also. You got to have the confidence. You got to know that you know that you know that Jesus is the answer. Yeah. Amen? Amen. He said that there is a definite difference in the funeral of a Christian as compared to one that was not a Christian. Christ takes the terror out of death. Amen. He removed the sting of death. Amen? He said when the mortal takes off mortality and puts on immortality, because you can't enter in this type of body. You've got to go and be transformed by rejuvenation, and then you're going to get a fresh body that is called a glorified body. Uh, it's the same body that Jesus had when he walked into the room with the disciples and the doors was locked. And they didn't know how Jesus got in there. Well, he got in there with a glorified body. Do you believe it? Do you believe that once you take off mortality and put on immortality, God is going to give you a glorified body? You can't be straddling the fence. Yeah. You got to know that you know that once I take this off, yeah. ah, I'm going to put on a glorified body. Yeah. 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 to the answer to the terror of death. Yes. Yeah. Preach on. He whooped death yeah. when they laid him in a borrowed tomb. Yes, sir, did. He beat death down. Death, so I got him. I got him now. Yeah, but on the third day, yeah. uh, he got up and dropped a, a shroud. Yeah. Yeah, they call that the shroud of Turin. He got up. Believe me, young people, whatever you do, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. He said, in all thy ways acknowledge me, and I'll do what? I'll direct thy path. Amen? He said, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen? Amen. You, you, you ain't got to stop having fun. That was the greatest thing that stopped me from getting sober a long time. I was afraid that I couldn't have fun no more. 
But when I found out that accepting Christ as my personal Savior, that I could still have fun, I could still laugh, I could still have joy, but then know that I'm safe yes. from hell's fire. Yes. What a wonderful uh, awakening it was for me. Jesus is the answer to the terror of death. But Jesus, last time as I rush home, Jesus is the answer to all of eternity. Some do not believe in eternity, but that goes, but that does not change the actuality that there is eternity. You're going to, there is a heaven to be gained and a hell to be shunned. The Bible says we all deserve to go to hell. Jesus died to save us from our sins and bring us back to God. Christ is the answer to the epidemic of sin. Do you remember when the whole country geared up to get the swine flu shots? Mm -hmm. The fear proved to be unfounded. But the fear of hell is not unfounded. We need Christ to save us. Yes. I'm reminded of the rich man that died, and I'm reminded of the poor man, Lazarus, who had to eat the crumbs under the rich man's table. Both of them died and Lazarus went to heaven. And, 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 and the rich man died and went to hell. And he looked up and he saw Lazarus in the bosom of Abraham. And he was so tormented about it, he said, listen, can you have Lazarus just put his finger in the water and come down and put it on my tongue? Because I am tormented. Father Abraham said, no, I can't do that. When you were in the life, you lived sumptuously. You dressed in purple and rode, drove Rolls Royces and Bentleys and, and lived real good. And, and, and he had to eat the crumbs from under the table. But now he is with me. I don't want us to get up in the heaven and realize that we made a mistake. That once you take your last breath and that angel comes to receive you, that you find out that this thing was true. Why take a chance? Why take a chance? You can still have fun and do whatever you want. He said, in all thy ways, not some of thy ways, he said, in all of our ways, acknowledge me, and I'll do what? I'll direct your path. Jesus asked another hard question. What shall a man give for his soul? Shall, what, what will he take? Will he take money? Will he take fame? Will he take work? Well, I got young people nowadays making deals with the devil. Give me fame and fortune. Give it to me right now. And you can have my soul. I want to enjoy living up in Palos Verdes Peninsula. I want to drive a Bentley. I want to have all the cute girls. I want everything. Give it to me now. And they be playing, but they don't know that Satan is real and taking covenants. He wants your soul. Uh, Christ is the only answer that satisfies. And I say all the time, why would you make a covenant with God's devil. God made him. Go make a covenant with the one that made the devil. He's a covenant keeping God. Amen? Amen. I see Jesus after the resurrection showing up on the seashore asking the disciples have they caught anything? And them saying no, we didn't catch anything. He told them to throw the nets on the other side of the boat. If you are uh, toiling with Jesus about not catching nothing, your life has empty uh, nets. Uh, it's a cosmic certainty that whenever Jesus shows up, there's always a change. Whenever Jesus shows up, Failure turns to 
success. Yes. Listen, when Jesus shows up, despair turns into hope. When Jesus shows up, sorrow turns into joy. When Jesus shows up, discouragement turns into courage. When Jesus shows up, pessimism turns into optimism. When Jesus shows up, defeat turns into triumph. When Jesus shows up, disgust turns into satisfaction. When Jesus shows up, fear turns into bravery. When Jesus shows up, melancholy turns into happiness. When Jesus shows up, doubt is turned into trust. When Jesus shows up, dreams are turned into reality. When Jesus shows up, frustration is turned into patience. When Jesus shows up, disappointment is turned into fulfillment. When Jesus shows up, blinding tears are dried. When Jesus shows up, midnight is turned into midday. When Jesus shows up, enemies are subdued. When Jesus shows up, meal barrels are full. When Jesus shows up, oil is increased in the crude. When Jesus shows up, manna falls from heaven. When Jesus shows up, refreshing water breaks forth in a parching desert. When Jesus shows up, little children are blessed. When Jesus shows up, feeble knees are strengthened. When Jesus when Jesus shows up, heavy hearts are made light. When Jesus shows up, sign is turned in to sin. When Jesus shows up, the night of failure is replaced by the morning of success. When Jesus shows up, discouraged souls rejoice. When Jesus shows up, lonely hearts are made glad. When Jesus shows up, troubled souls find peace. When Jesus shows up, nightmares become sweet dreams. When Jesus shows up, storm clouds are arched over with a rainbow of promise of fair weather. When Jesus shows up, empty nets are filled. Uh, he came down through 42 generations for me and for you. Yeah, yeah. We thank God for your presence in this worship experience. If you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, the doors of the church are now open. We would not have you go to a godless hell. Christ is the answer. There is no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Amen. Amen. They say, well, why Jesus? Why not? He's in the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost.